Всем привет, кого еще не видел. Это вторая часть видеоэкскурсии по очень известной частной английской школе Dean Close School. В первой части мы погуляли по кампусу школы с двумя учениками. Если вы эту часть не видели, ссылку найдете в подписи к этому видео. В этой части у нас будет возможность посмотреть, где и как живут ученики школы Dean Close School. И общежитие для мальчиков нам покажет очень забавный хаусмастер, хозяин дома. Это видео 360, поэтому не забывайте крутить пальчиком, вы можете менять угол обзора. Если попали на версию 2D, то мы покрутим за вас. Поехали в Дин Клаус. Это общая комната, поэтому yeah. девочкам в принципе можно с разрешения хозяев сюда приходить. Interestingly enough, this is one of the oldest parts of the building. Uh, when, сказать, the, по, по, по крыше, yeah. when the school was first built, it was the dining hall. Понятно, что это старое здание. Yeah. So there were only 14 boys when Мы, the school first opened. And so, so, 14 всего yeah. мальчиков so all the boys and all the teachers. It was boys only school, right? Yeah, boys, it was a boys only school until 1969. Здесь раньше была столовая школьная. Yeah. Yeah. So so 14 it, мальчишек обедали уже. Was it a boarding school? Yeah, it, was, it started. It's, it's always been a boarding school. Always been yeah. a boarding school. Uh, she'll also uh, teach them. За порядком следить за приятностью мальчишек. Matrons, русские называют матрёнами. То есть это получается такая хозяйка дома, которая помогает во всём. So you see, as we go around the house, obviously, as the school, we provide them with food in the dining hall, as they get very well fed. But we also have facilities in the house that they can learn to cook for themselves as well. Oh, right. Do you cook? I cook a bit. You cook a bit. Where are you from? France. France. Okay. Well, French cook really nice. Uh, but some some of the boys are really into their cooking. We've got quite good kitchen facilities, and they spend a lot of time. Uh, and some of our boys. Как ты думаешь, мальчики должны уметь готовить? Да. Хотя бы одно коронное блюдо. Короче, школа жизни. Как гладит, как стирает самому. Это все, что тебе пригодится, когда ты. And the odd sewing lesson here and there as well. And sewing lesson as well. И как пугается пришивать тоже. The, the, the idea of a boarding house like this, um, obviously we look after you and we make sure that you're safe and happy, but it's also to prepare you for living independently yes, and going right. to university. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we, we call it university light. Ah, uh, ah. So, so it's just... yeah. Housemaster сделал упоминание о подготовке к самостоятельной взрослой жизни. На самом деле в частных английских школах, пансионах этому уделяется особое внимание подготовки к самостоятельной взрослой уже будучи университетской жизни. В этой школе эта подготовка условно называется University Life. Детей учат самоорганизации, самодисциплине, управлению своим собственным временем, умению следить за собой и даже готовить. Смотрим дальше. Uh, this room isn't, this year isn't quite as popular as the opposite common room because apparently an Xbox One isn't as good as a PlayStation 4. I don't know, I, I, I don't know which is better, but the boys seem to think that the uh, PlayStation is better than the Xbox. They know better, yeah. they know better. Um, but again, it's a nice social area, uh, quite a few of our boys play guitar, and so quite often uh, my study is just under this room. So uh, last year particularly I had to come up quite often and just say, uh, boys, maybe Let's keep the singing down a little bit. Uh, uh, lunch is served from one o'clock, um, and uh, that is during weekdays, and we have a roll call at two fifteen. Uh, supper is served from just after six, and we have a roll call at seven o'clock. So that they get fed three full meals, uh, three times a day. But they still can come here and munch something. Yeah. So so we provide during the day we provide bread, cheese, milk, ham. So it's a дополнительное к трехразовому питанию, потому что мальчишки всегда голодны. Конечно, в школе предусмотрено трехразовое питание. 
Школьников кормят вкусной и здоровой пищей. Но дети же всегда голодные. Особенно мальчишки и те, которые ведут активный школьный образ жизни. Именно поэтому предусмотрены перекусы между завтраком и обедом и обедом и ужином. В общежитии, где живут школьники, всегда есть свежее молоко, свежий хлеб, хлопья, масло и фрукты. Поэтому дети точно не голодают. Um, it's just большие комнаты. Yeah, yeah. It's just the beds are very heavy, so we need to live in this room. So, so this room, this room is Elvin's, and there's just just one boy in here. So this is this is. Большая комната. So it, I I really like this room. Um, it's it, I, I, so just like by the view out over the hills. Oh yeah, view is um, beautiful. But it wow. does mean that they don't have uh, their own ensuite bathroom. Uh, the it's bathrooms okay. are at the end of the corridor, but they're all individually cubicled off. Cubicles. Yeah, yeah. So it, it's not sort of one big open bathroom. It's <laughs> sort of just showers with a, with a shower screen. It's the sh lockable doors for yeah. each of the showers. But it's, sure. it's it's more sort of a bathroom. And clean the stay clean rooms every day. Yeah. But they don't pick up your own things, do they? Oh no, no. So, so, so they, they they clean, but the boys have to leave it tidy enough for them to clean. They won't come pick up the boys' socks. Yeah. So, so they'll hoover the floors, providing they can see the floors. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> and all they will hoover around. Yeah. So, so all the communal areas are cleaned every day, and all the rooms are done every day. Uh, but obviously. The boys have to leave it in a state that it can be cleaned. As I said, we normally show Johnny's room, um, and it's not looking too bad at the minute. Uh, uh, so this is this is uh, Sharon. She's one of our cleaners. She's been been here. Long. They quite often sit in here and do work together. So lots of them do similar subjects. Because they are all the students, they are allowed yeah. to do like yeah, so they can, so three they, kind they, of environments. Isn't yeah, they're, 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 so I suppose it's sort of the modern workplace and sort yeah. of. Uh, Morning, Sam. Uh, so this is Morning. Sam. He's another one of our upper six, the star rugby player. Um, rugby and, uh, player. This as well. is Denny. He's looking around for, for next year. Uh, do do the protein diet? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Yeah. He's very very quick. Are you? Yeah. Are they allowed to bring their posters and things yeah. like that? Yeah. As, as long as they don't do too much damage, they can have. What? То есть ты можешь принести свои какие-то плакаты, развесить рэперов американских. American culture, rap, yeah, yeah rappers, the, 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 quite a few of the boys have, have posts on yeah. the roofs. Again, we tend to show the rooms that might not have <laughs> too, too much in the way of that. Uh -huh. Is this a uh, dushuaya? So in this house, uh, we have um, about 14 boys in each year group. So at the minute we've got uh, 13 in the lower sixth and 14 in the upper sixth. Um, across the whole school, we have about 100. Four. And some gambling. <laughs> yeah, well, they, they play all sorts of card games. Uh, this table actually came out of my parents' loft. Really? <laughs> I, I found it. Um, so yeah, they, they, they like playing cards and board games and things as well. Poker seems to be the popular one, but uh, strictly no real money allowed. Of course, um, of course, no gambling. Um, no, it's but just joking. but, but they, they, they watch they watch quite a lot of films in here. They they, they play computer games. Uh, on a Saturday night, uh, I will normally cook them pizza and, and chicken, and we'll watch a film together as a house. And oh, with, that's and, good. and with parent permission, I'll allow them to have a bottle of beer. Um, again, just sort of giving them a bit of freedom, but within a, well, within with a safe permission. Well, with the parent permission, and yeah. if they're 18. So. Yeah. Если вы планируете поехать на обучение в Англию или отправить в частную английскую школу своего ребенка, уверен, у вас очень много вопросов, связанных именно с проживанием. И когда я говорю о проживании, я не имею в виду только условия проживания. Это и расписание дня, когда дети ложатся спать, когда они встают, и вопросы, связанные с безопасностью. С кем будет жить мой ребенок? А что если он заболел? Или какое у школы отношение по поводу использования гаджетов? И так далее. Вопросов очень много. Но не переживайте, на все вопросы вы получите ответы при нашем с вами личном знакомстве. Все наши консультации абсолютно бесплатны. Чтобы связаться с нами, пройдите по ссылкам в подписи к этому видео, если Смотрите это видео не уже с нашего канала.